everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be doing so actually i'm just going to play really i'm just playing around with these uh rainbow colors the poly gel kit sorry from model one so if you watched my live unboxing you will have seen this already but i'm just going to go into a little bit more detail what's inside the box so what i just shown you there was some forms and then you've got another set of a box of forms here these are dual forms so you got lots and lots of forms oh i'm out of breath <laughs> <laughs> right so the poly gel you get six tubes of poly gel the first one is red like literally it's like rainbow colors so it's, you know like richard of york gave battle in vain so it's red orange yellow green blue and violet i suppose um so that was the red and then you get an orange i was like two reds but no it's an orange and this one really is an orange it's really nice nice and bright uh you get yellow i love this yellow as well oh my days it's so nice and they are 15 gram tubes. I just thought I should let you know. They are the smaller size tubes. Um, you get a green. And a blue. The blue is also a really nice colour. It's like a nice, what would you call it? Like a royal blue, I think. I don't know. And then this one, which is like a pinky colour, it changes colour. So when it gets hot, it goes white. But I will show you as we go on. Um, you also get some tools and bits. My dog is growling. Oh, he's growling at me. It's because I'm sitting up on the boy's bed and he can't get up here. Um, so you get your 100 money to grit hand file. You get a brush and picker, which is like the it's like the brush with a spatula end on. This is actually one of my favourite tools to ever to use. Um, you get an eyeshadow applicator for this pigment. Actually, I'm a bit annoyed I didn't use this because I wanted to see what it looked like and I totally bloody forgot. You get this really pretty blue oh i'll have to see what it looks like over black and a, and a white but we i will think about that in the future don't panic you get some silver holographic butterflies which are really 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 hollow i love them thank you and you also get a little bottle of slip solution you get two um well you get a base and a top coat oh my gosh can you hear my children <laughs> They're throwing pretend grenades at each other. Um, <clears throat> and then I had this little bit of this like leaflet inside. And it's got like basically, if you need help, if anyone needs to contact them, this is the email service at odderones.com. So if you have any problems, um, contact them on that number. Email, sorry. So these are what I'm going to be using. There's a pink from a different kit there. I also filmed this few days after i'd filmed that first bit so i was i thought i only had five colors there but there were I'm, I'm missing a red which is a bit stupid so i don't actually use the red in this set um which annoyed me a little bit but hey ho i did think it was a bit strange i was like i'm sure i'm missing a color and i couldn't work it out anyway i thought i would do a poly gel rainbow for you know for our nhs because i think the rainbow is what's you know signifies nhs or something i'm not very good i don't know I'm really rubbish. anyway this is the pink so this is soft pink this is good i love this color this is so nice i'd wear this on its own on my nails this is going to be our what do you call it nail bed color so i've put base coat on i've only put base coat on that tip where i really want the nail bed to go because I'm going to file around the smile line and I thought if I put base coat all the way around the like all the way down to the tip I thought it's just going to get wasted because I'm just going to I'm just going to go over the nail with some cleanse when I come to file around the smile line anyway so I didn't think it was worth putting the base coat all the way on the all, all over the tip you see what I mean So the nice thing about poly gel is that you can fiddle around with it until you are happy with your shape. So it's not gonna cure until you stick it in the lamp. It's a bit like your gel. So I'm quite, I'm still gonna file this. So even if it's not 100% perfect, don't worry. Pop it in the lamp for 60 seconds. I've, I'm using um, an LED lamp and then I'm going over with some, I'm using isopropyl alcohol. You can use like gel cleanse or um, gel residue wipe off solution, stuff like that. It's all the same kind of thing. And then I'm going to file the smile line with my, this is a Model 1's 100, 180 grit file, but it's an old one that I've been using. I use them until they die a proper death. Um, 
so I'm, yeah is it model ones or a leafu although leafu is part of model ones isn't it anyway file around the smile line i'm not going to show you me doing every single color section because this nail took me forever it's a bit like you know those 3d french nails it's it was a bit i mean they take forever it's a bit like doing one of those but not quite um when you're happy when you're happy with the look this is it's got a nice wall around the edge now so we can butt the other colors up to that i'm gonna wipe off the dust dust anybody dust and then we're basically gonna start again but using the colors the first one i'm going to be using is orange obviously because i totally forgot i had a red peanut i was gonna say penis <laughs> i'm such a penis um i'm gonna show you the the color i couldn't get this seal off but they're all they're all sealed obviously they should be um so this is the orange the orange is really nice and bright as well there we go that's the orange isn't that pretty so what i'm gonna do or, or, what i'm gonna do is <laughs> I, I put way too much on i made it too thick um and actually what i found with this poly gel is that not don't put it on thick put it on thinner um because there were sections of it that I, where i'd put it on too thick it didn't cure properly and i will show you at the end i'll explain as i go through but i put this on because it's really really pigmented this stuff so you know like when you use black gel polish if it's really pigmented um and the if you put it in your lamp to cure if you put it on too thick the the light from the lamp can't penetrate all the way through that gel polish and i think that's the trouble i had with this poly gel because i just put it on too thick so i think if i'm if i'm going to do it again what i will do is i will do it thinner and then i will cap it in clear poly gel to create my structure so what happened now was i'd filed it uh, sorry i'd cured it and then as i was filing it you know like almost i know this is gonna sound really gross but almost like when you pop a spot it, it had a leaky patch <laughs> like look it sort of popped and i had to put it in there i just wet my brush and sort of put it back into place and then put it back in the lamp to cure and then i started again and that helped I think this is the noisiest my children have been since we've been on lockdown doing these voiceovers. I'm going to put, right, I've filed around the smile line now. I'm going to put some base coat around the uh, free edge where we're going to put the next colour. Only really where I want the next colour. Don't, use no, again, there's no point going all the way down. And we're going to use the yellow. Ready for this? This yellow is flipping nice. Are you ready? Are you ready? Again, I couldn't get the seal off. I was faffing. Ready? It is there. <laughs> How nice is that? So I'm going to put that on the... Yeah, oh, right, I've done it already. I had to cut a load of this video this this out because this video is long enough as it is. I'm going to go in with the... So basically all I'm doing is putting a little bit of base coat, curing it in the lamp for 30 seconds, doing the section of poly gel or aqua gel, sorry, um, curing that in the lamp for, I, I think I cured it for two minutes in the end, then filing the smile line, cleaning it off, and then starting the process again with the base coat. So base coat, poly gel, file, base coat, poly gel. Do you see what I mean? And I'm, But I'm just going to show you all the different colours because you need to see the colours, but it's pretty much the same process all the way down. So I'm going to put this into place. Again, I'm, I'm using it too thick, but hey-ho. This is the blue. I really like the blue. I don't know. I think don't know if you'd call this an electric blue or a royal blue. Let me know what you'd call this in the, in the, in the comments. Would you call this electric or royal? It's really nice, whatever it is. So that's going to go after the green. I got, again, look, I'm getting way too much out. I do this every time though, poly gel. I always use way too much. And then I'll shape that. And then once I've done, I'll pop it in the lamp. Okay, that's going to go in the lamp. And then we're going to put some of this one. This is a really pretty pink. So it says it's called Give Me Changes. And when it's cold, it's like this. It's like a, 
sort of deep almost purpley pink I think like that I love that it's so pretty and then when it and then when it when it's hot it's it goes white but you'll see it once it comes out the lamp again I used way too much of this um at the very very bottom of this nail I'm going to put some of that uh Oscar skirt the silver holograph look isn't that pretty the um the silver holographic um poly gel acro gel that they do you know they do the glitter ones again i'm just molding it because I, I was gonna like just finish it off with this color but i wanted this one to be the same width as all the other colors and if i'd have put this on as it was it would have been it would have been too thick and i was kind of like is that gonna go or not um so in the end I just used the spatula end of the tool and I I took a I took about half of it off. I could have left it though, couldn't I? I just thought it didn't quite look it didn't quite look right like that. Um and that's when I decided to take some off. So only about half of it. And, I, and I'm sitting here, I'm thinking, what a bloody waste. I do this every time. I should know by now. But do I eck? No, I do not. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going to sort of neaten that up. And then I will pop that into the lamp again to cure. I think it only cures for 60 seconds. But because I've done it quite thick, I did end up doing each thing for two minutes. And see how white it's gone? So it goes, you can see the... On the sides there, it's still a little bit pinky purple. And then where it's got really hot, it's white. Okay, so again, just file around the smile line. And then this is the glittery one. They do loads, they do about eight of these, eight or six. I think it's eight. Yeah, there's eight, because I think they sent me six, but there is eight of them in the set. And you can buy them individually as well. And each of them are really nice. So this is the, you can't see here, but... Uh, I'm going to use this in another nail for this for for this video, um, and you can you'll see you'll see how how hollow it, how nice it is. So this is just going to go at the very end, just to give that rainbow a little bit of sparkle, just to you know just to finish it off. Even though it hasn't got red, I kind of I just think oh, it's red. I'm looking at it now, thinking oh god. I only I only noticed when I came to edit this video because I was like hang on, there's six and I only used five. Um, but never mind. So I'm right. You can see there where the, the gel polish squidged out. So there are two sections in this nail where I'd put the poly gel on too thick and it did squidge out. Now where it's squidged out, there's going to be like a little bubble in the nail. So what I decided to do was um, cover it up. <laughs> what do we do when we make mistakes? We cover it up. I'm just giving it a file and a buff and then just give it a cleanse get all that dust off you can see there you can see where that gap is um yeah but anyway i did poke my my pokey tool my pointy tool into that hole to get the dust out um if it's on a client you'll probably you will need to fill it or something because you will end up with a weak spot i think especially where that part is in that orange in that orange one so yeah just saying and there we go give it a buff and a cleanse wipe it over i'm just getting that stuff out that hole it's, it's, i felt like a dentist emptying a cavity or a fill-in whatever you want to call it depends which part of the country we're in whether you call it a fill-in or a cavity so these are the crystals that i got in that nail art kit that model one's nail art kit and um, i don't forget i'll leave all the links to everything in the description box below um and if you do want to buy anything from model ones you can use code uh, natalie double zero it's my 10 percent off code uh, we'll save you 10 percent, obviously if it's a 10 percent off code uh, we're just going to top coat this and all i'm going to do is just for the just for the video i'm going to put the crystals into the top coat um, if you're doing this on a real person i would use a gem glue or a, like a curable gem glue or something like that so i'm just going to place that over that bubble and then can you see where the blue meets the green it's like it's a little bit yeah it was there so i just put one crystal on just to cover it up and i thought look, two crystals and a bit of sparkle i thought you know i know they look a bit odd but you know we all make we're all a little bit odd aren't we so 
there we go anyway that was the rainbow nail done i really really liked using this poly gel um i will definitely use it again we, i want to use the red so we will do a proper rainbow next time i'll show you this nail as well when that white the the the, the color change one has cooled down so you can see what it looks like when it's more pinky then i tried to do a marble nail and i thought do you know what i'm going to go in and use all the different colors and i do vaguely regret it because i think i mixed them too much and it made the colors look a little bit muddy um if i were to do it again i don't think i would have used all the colors i think i would have probably used one or two and then perhaps added a white and a clear uh but you know i'm just playing around and i wanted to play around with it and waste my product so that you guys don't have to it's not really wasting it but if i play with my stuff and make mistakes then when you guys buy it you know what not to do so i'm just mixing it a little bit here with my tool um so again going in with the base coat for this if you don't use base coat on these tips because they are shiny the product will just pop off so either buff the nail or go over with some base coat um, obviously if you're doing a client you'll need to prep the nails and everything properly first and then i'm just picking up the product and just placing it on and then i don't want to mess around with it too much but obviously you want to make sure Again, if I were to do this again, I would have probably put this on a lot thinner and then gone over with some clear to create the structure. Goodness knows what my kids are doing. <laughs> How's everyone finding homeschooling? I'm really struggling. Uh, my little boy doesn't want to do it. Um, my eldest boy, he's, he's actually been really good, but he doesn't... Um, I don't know I'm, I'm really struggling because I'm reading their homework and I'm thinking I have no idea what this is I've no idea what they want and I'm thinking I must be really stupid if I can't do my nine-year-old homework <laughs> oh god anyway we're trying our best and I think that's the main thing right so now we've done this we're gonna file the nail funnily enough this one I didn't have any issues with cure uh, with um yeah with any like uncured bits through it so maybe I made, maybe I did put this on thinner than I thought. So again, file it, buff it, and this is what it looks like. I think I used too much green and too much orange, and I didn't have enough yellow in it. And then I'm going to try to do a marble, a marble fade with a bit of glitter. Uh, I don't think it worked very well. Again, if I were to do this again, I would do this thin and then cap in clear and I didn't cap in clear because I found that if I cap in clear the glitter kind of loses its shine so I wanted to not add a bit of hair there to get off before I put, popped it in the lamp but I'm going to cure that now I've, I've blended it down a bit then I'm going to take some of the marbled aqua gel and I'm going to put that at the free edge and then I'm going to put that on a but blend it up and then what I'm going to do is, because I know there's no way on earth that I'm going to get this to fade up nicely, um, I'm going to put some glitter on where the colours meet. So before I do that, I will cure this in the lamp once I am vaguely happy-ish with it. But I'm going to blend it up as much as I can. Okay, I could leave it like that, pop it in the lamp. How long are my nails, by the way? My ring finger on my right hand, I had to had to cut that nail down because it was so long. Um, the only ones that aren't growing very well is my thumb and my index finger on that hand because I've been picking them. I do need nails to pick. Um, so this is the Oscar skirt. Oh, I love this. Isn't this bloody gorgeous? So I'm going to put this on in like a very thick swoosh. And I'm trying to do it so that when I file it, um, because I, I've, yeah, when I file it, I still want there to be a bit of an apex going on. Um, so I was like, I was thinking I'm doing this, but I'm probably going to file half of it away to create that apex. So this is what I mean by doing all of this thinly and then putting the clear over the top. 
Okay, so this is where I'm going to clean it and file it. Cleanse it and file it. Because you want to remove that tacky layer before you file it. Let me know in the comments below if you have bought this rainbow aqua gel kit or if you have any rainbow aqua gel kit and what kind of nails you've done with it. I do want to do some more, um, but I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'll have to, yeah, I just wondered if you could give me some ideas or I can go and look on Pinterest. There we go. So now I'm going to file this. Actually, it didn't lose too much of that glitter, which I was pleased about, although I didn't file it perfectly because I was worried about that. But I mean, other than the marble looking a bit muddy, I really liked how that turned out. Um, yeah, so next time, definitely going to use different colours for the marble. And this one, you can see now, look, you can see here more of the pink coming through. Definitely too much orange and too much green going on. There's not, there's no, I, I can't even see the yellow. <laughs> and I would have liked to have seen more of the yellow because I like yellow. So there we go. So that's them. Um, if you do want to purchase the poly gel set, the aqua gel set, I'll leave the links in the description box below. If you did like this video, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And I will see you all tomorrow with another video. Yeah, I'm sorry this one was so long, but I had so much to get in. <laughs> the nails seem to take me ages. But anyway, I hope you liked it. Um, yeah, thanks everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Sorry about the noise. <laughs>